How's it going, lads? Now we're here again with another Retro Rec Room unboxing. Um, this one's to be a little bit weird because I changed my subscription and wanted to get two boxes a month, um, but they came at different times. So I kind of got the first one opened up, recorded it, and then that audio got corrupted. So I already have, I already know what's in this first box. The second box just got here though, so that will be new. Uh, let's just get right into it. So first box. Um, there's two games I decided not to keep. Uh, one was a duplicate. It was uh, Yoshi's Story on N64. The BF uh, fifteen ninety nine, which I don't think is a bad price for the game, but just how you own it, you know, don't need two copies of it. So I'll send that back. Um, the other one is Rampage Total Destruction. I uh, didn't know about this game. I gave it a shot, played it for a little while, and it just wasn't my kind of game. Um, which is fine, you know, there's plenty of games out there. If you don't like one, you just send it back. It doesn't cost anything. I should probably mention that from the start. Um, what is Retro Rec Room? It is a service where you uh, rent uh, four to six retro games a month, and then they will ship them to you. You can choose to keep them at the end and pay for them, or you can send them back. Uh, they typically have a free game in the box, but it's not guaranteed, I believe, but every box I've gotten so far has had one. Mine for this box was uh, Bugs Bunny Double Trouble on Game Gear. Uh, not really something I'd really choose to have, but since it's free, it's no real point sending it back, you know. Might as well keep it, and if you build up enough games you don't really like, you know, you can go to a retro store and sell them back, and get something you do like, which is kind of fun, doing the whole flip thing. Um, the other thing I got is Time Splitters on PlayStation 2. Uh, not huge into shooting games, but you know I played this one for a bit and actually enjoyed it. So it was pretty fun. Uh, definitely a different style of shooter than I'm used to. Uh, it took me a while to figure out how to actually invert the controls in this one because I'm pretty bad at just games and looking at menus. But anyways, this one was $7.99 for the price. That's like you know I've definitely had my fun with it and could definitely see. If I had uh, other people to play with it, it'd be pretty fun too. So I'm gonna keep that one, and you know, hopefully play it some more. It's pretty enjoyable. Um, the other one I got was Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut on GameCube. Uh, Sonic games I don't really haven't played that much, but I always kind of wanted to collect. I just think they're kind of funny how like the the fo following the rise and like the fall of Sonic is kind of fun through history and having the games. To highlight that, it's just kind of neat to me. Um, this one's eleven ninety nine to keep. I'm gonna play this one and then decide if I want to send it back. You have until the twenty fifth of each month to send your games back. So you know you can play them for a month or I guess like twenty days, depending on when they get to you, and then send them back. So that one's still not entirely sure on. And the last one I got, which is awesome, is Trauma Center New Blood on the Wii. This one's made by Atlas. Um, I'm going for a complete Atlas collection, and I made that note. There's uh, When you start up your service, you can pick which consoles you want, what type of games you like, and instead of special requests, I put in that request that, you know, I'm trying to collect all the Atlas games. So they sent me this one, and it's in, like, complete, really nice shape. I love it. Um, I haven't played this one yet, but I'm going to keep it, because it's Atlas. Uh, this one was $5.99. So there's the box I've already played or opened out of the way, not played. And we'll get into the second one. Um, first thing is, do you get your card? You know, it explains the service. Like I said, you get the game, so you play until the 25th. Do you send it back? If you want to keep them, don't send them back, and they'll be charging your card. Um, they're starting a new service now, though, where you can trade in your games. Um, you basically just email a list of all the games you have and their condition and if they're complete or not, and then they'll get back to you within two days, about, two business days, and just give you a listing. Um, I sent them an email with the stack games I want to get rid of, and they gave me some pricing. I think it's pretty fair. They um, include the GameStop prices and def say they always offer better than them. Which is true, but they don't offer better than GameStop Pro. So depending on what you're sending back, it might not be the best deal you get, but you know, it's your choice. Um, let's get into this one. Um, this how does it feel like a game? They do have options to also get hardware controllers. You can select that. And I did ask for 
SNES power adapters. I'm guessing that's what this is. Yes. Oh, it's one of the multi. Okay. So it's a third party adapter. It's for NES, SNES, and Genesis, which you know is totally fine. Like $7. This is not a bad price for one. It feels hefty. There's a lot of these cheap third party ones that are lighter than like air, I swear. That's the one that came with my Super Nintendo. Uh, this one actually feels like it's quality, but I already have a pretty good quality third party one. So I will probably send this one back because I don't think I can turn that one just out of the window. And I can't even turn this one, so. No, not bad. I prefer first party. Ugh. I prefer first party power adapters because they're just generally known to be the best, but. You know, it doesn't always happen. Anyways, it's this one. I'm glad there's still at least a quality third party one, though. That's good. This is Super Nintendo? I don't get many Super Nintendo games. Oh, heck yeah. Another Atlas game. Power Instinct. Perfect. Oh, it means I get two this month. That's so awesome. I really love how they listen to what you want. Um, you know, like Super Nintendo. This one is $25.99. Normal price is $33. I'll have to look that up. I believe that's a pretty good price for this one, though. Um, still happy, though. Another Atlas game. I'll definitely be keeping that. No doubt about it. Um, okay, there's three more games, this one. So, you know, boxes are four to six games. They get four games in the adapter. Not bad. This is PlayStation. It is Tekken 3, Greatest Hits. Uh, as people who don't really like the Greatest Hits, I don't mind it as much, you know. It, yeah, it looks different on your shelf, but it's still like the same game. So, that's not really that important to me. Uh, I do like fighting games, I'm not very really great at them, but it's kind of cool to have them all for the history. This one is complete, that disc is in pretty nice condition. Um, subscriber price, this one is $9.99. That's not a terrible price for PlayStation. Uh, good games, I think. My PlayStation is still one service. I or I'll try again. PlayStation is one of the systems I'm still pretty unfamiliar with as far as pricing and games and hidden gems for it. But I know Tekken Three is fun. I'll probably keep that one. I'm gonna play it though. I don't have my PS One set up, but I have a PS Two, so I can you know play that. Let's see, we got another PlayStation game. We got Asteroids. Um, this is my free game for the month, or for this box, you know, it, like I said, every box I've had, it's had a free game in it. Um, this is one that I don't really care about. Um, I don't know. I never really enjoyed the Asteroids arcade game that much, so I don't know if I'll enjoy this one, since it looks like it's just a modern take in the arcade one, or modern as PS1, jeez. I don't know. We'll play it and see. It's free, so the very worst I can keep it than like sell off myself for a little something. I don't like my back in my envelope. I only do that if I'm not keeping them. Jeez. Okay. Last game here. This is a big one. This would be PS2. It's like so many DVD cases. Oh, it's Xbox 360. This is Lost Odyssey. I don't think I've heard of this game. So it's made by Microsoft Studios. Um, so it's complete. Oh, this is kind of funny. Um, so it's a two disc system. Wait, no, what? Four discs? Good lord. No wonder this case fails so heavy. Uh, manuals in good shape. Eh, kind of good shape. It's got a little tear on the side there. Not that important to me, but I've never seen an Xbox case that has like all four games stuck in there like that. I don't know if I'm going to show on camera. I wonder if this is like a, not the right case for this game. Which you know, if it's on the multi-disc. I'm trying to just look at these all. But this has a huge tab, so I think it's fine. Um, I'll have to play this one a little bit and see. I don't really know much about it. This uh, subscriber price is eleven ninety nine, So it's not... I don't know, it's not that expensive for a game, but I don't really know much about this one, so I'm going to have to try and see. 
And that completes my Retro Rec Room this month. Um, quite a few good games, you know, got two Alice games, which is perfect. Helps me get a little bit closer to that complete collection, which is going to be stupid expensive. But we'll worry about those expensive games down the line. Um, yeah, really happy with this service. It's nice to get, you know, quality games delivered and you have the choice of paying for them or sending them back. And the new trade feature, I think, is actually pretty neat because you could... I don't know, you probably can't like sell the free games back to them, they probably are smarter than that, but you know, if you have extra games you don't really want, then you can just send them back to them. Well, that's going to do it for me guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll be back with something a little bit later too. Um, oh, by the way, this week is kind of an off tangent, but I'm starting to stream again, I'm doing some Pokemon randomizers, kind of a dead genre, but you know, I haven't done them before, so it's pretty fun. And yeah. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.